Western politicians are turning a blind eye to Israel's war crimes, as are lots of Western journalists. But not all of them. Take a look at this from high-profile MSNBC host Joy Reid. Given these bombings are being done using our tax dollars, perhaps we should ask some questions. For example, how does bombing a densely populated land strip filled 50% with children constitute self-defense? How does bombing hospitals, churches, mosques, and UN schools constitute self-defense? Well, you say, if Hamas fighters are hiding in the hospital using the civilians as human shields, okay, let's say they are. Are you arguing that flattening the hospital and killing newborns in their incubators and their moms in the NICU, cancer patients, someone with a broken leg, the doctors, nurses, and just the women and kids hiding in the hospital, that that's not a war crime? Because you would be wrong, according to international law. But why don't the people in Gaza just turn over Hamas militants to the Israelis? Okay, how do you propose they do that? Hamas is the de facto government in Gaza, and they're the ones with the guns. The leaders of Hamas aren't even in Gaza. And if they were, if you were a teenager living in an open-air prison, getting bombed day and night by, let's say, Mexico, and Mexican police kicked in the door and raided your house anytime they wanted and turned off the water and cut off your food, what are you going to do? Side with them? Help them while you're dying? That's like asking why black folks don't help or trust the police. Okay, but after 9-11, we bombed Afghanistan in self-defense. Yeah, we did. And did that put an end to al-Qaeda or get bin Laden? No, it did not. Because like Hamas, bin Laden wasn't in the country we were bombing. President Obama got him 10 years later in Pakistan using special forces and without bombing scores of kids to death. Bombing Afghanistan did buy us a 20-year occupation that got us more enemies in the Muslim world when we scooped people up on the battlefield and dragged them off to Gitmo. And when we threw in a gratuitous war against Iraq based on lies by a Bush administration that traded on our anger and our fear, the world rose up against us as we committed torture and tossed former Iraqi police and soldiers into makeshift gulags, and those prisoners later turned into ISIS. Oh, and the Taliban are back in control of Afghanistan. So again, what is the goal of mass bombing Gaza? Is it to find the people Hamas militants abducted on October 7? Okay, how? By flattening whatever shelter they're taking from the bombs? The bit 